let's talk a little bit about firewalls. Uh, I have a really cool way I like to teach this um, that for the next gen firewalls. And so we're going to blow through the, the other firewall firewalls. So uh, at first we had port and protocol firewalls. So generation one, whatever you want to call them. Um, and we still have those because they're fast, they're reliable. And they're fast because they don't have to think much. It's just, do I allow something to come through on this port? Um, then we had generation two that allowed for session state. And those were cool because if you connected with something and you needed to switch to a different port, it would work. But that also caused problems, uh, opened up issues and vulnerabilities as well. So uh, it was okay. Um, and we still use those a lot. Uh, and then we came to um, the next level, which is it not only did it allow for the stateful stuff, but it actually started to inspect. It would look at the packet. Um, so if you noticed, we did very little as a firewall, and then we do more and more, which it requires a bigger, better, faster firewall. Um, but it can only see certain things and it wasn't as intelligent. So eventually we got to um, application level firewalls where it knows what the application is supposed to be doing. It can really inspect and make decisions based upon what the application needs, except we encrypt everything. Um, so that causes uh, some issues with them. Um, anyway, I want to talk about next generation firewalls. Uh, they try and take it to the next level, which usually means they do some intrusion detection, some intrusion prevention, and try and fingerprint some of this encrypted traffic, but you can't really do that. Um, uh, you can do very little there. So anyway, the, I want to focus in on intrusion detection and intrusion prevention that a lot of these next-gen firewalls do. And I teach this by talking about candy. What type of candy do you like? Okay, uh, think about that and list maybe on a piece of paper uh, four or five things that you think makes candy candy. And why don't you pause the video while you do that? So write about four or five things what you think makes candy candy. Hopefully you paused it uh, and welcome back. So anyway, now that you have what you think makes candy candy, and I'm going to link to some of these down below. I'm going to link to some better things. Um, but I have some candy that I share with my class. And I say, with your list that you've made, does this reach the bar? Or are you going to not allow this because you don't think it's candy? First one, this is one I like. Black licorice. Sweet. Um, black licorice is something that a lot of people don't like. Um, so lemon ginger chews, and this can be, uh, actually, these are gummies, lemon ginger chews. I, I prefer the chews. I'll link to the chews down below. Um, I usually try and get lemon heads or, and, or atomic fireballs. I couldn't get them at the store this time, but I did get spice drops. Um, and you need extreme warheads, right? So are these passing your, your, uh, candy test? And I only have a few of these left, but, um, these are expensive, but these Napoleon Schwarzwitz Bolches. Okay. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the Napoleon Schwarzwitz Bolches. I had them first when I was, uh, in, I think it was in Belgium. It may have been the Netherlands, um, but uh, the first time I had it, I thought, no, oh, it's not that bad. Um, it's kind of like burnt car caramel on the outside, but on the inside is this powder. And I got to it and I swear, I thought I was poisoned. It's gross. Um, eventually I got to like it, but um, yeah, I've given them to people before and they've got to the middle and they throw up. So just be careful. Um, but yeah, these are candies. And by trying to understand, is it candy or not, based upon the list that you have, um, you might say some of these are not candies, even though they are. 
Um, that would be a false positive. These are candies. They should be, people should be allowed to eat them. Um, even if you don't think they should. And, um, if you flag it as not being a candy, that's a false positive. Now, a false negative, and I don't have good examples here, would be if you um, flag something as a candy that's not really a candy. Um, so you can think about what, what are some things that might fit in that category. Anyway, it's something that next generation firewalls um, and anything that tries to do fingerprinting or machine learning um, can, can have a problem with. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you in the next video.